In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Jumper T16 to use their new internal multi-protocol module. It'll replace this module and you can put a Crossfire or R9 or whatever you want in the back. You can see that Jumper always intended to use an internal module, but it wasn't supported in the OpenTX firmware until now. So here we go, we've got the new internal multi-protocol module. If you're familiar with the internals of this radio, you might recognize this board because it is the same board that's in there, except now it's got all the components added. So let's open this thing up. There are eight screws, and you can pull the grips off by the little tabs on the corners. The top plate pops right off, and make sure you pull out the battery tray. Next, we've only got three screws to remove the placeholder for the internal module. Unplug the cable, and here's a little side-by-side -side comparison between the placeholder and the new module. It looks like they had this engineered before the radio was even released. So now all you have to do is screw it in, use the same screws, and plug the cable back in, and you're done with the new module. So Jumper included a new top plate for the internal module because the SMA antenna hole is not quite the right size. So you're going to have to pull this little rubber bit out and it might take a little prying with some tweezers. Now that you've done that, you can put the SMA through there and attach it with this little plate here. Just put that to the side and we can reassemble the radio. Sometimes the battery connector snags down here at the bottom, so use some tweezers to get that in the proper position. Once you've got all the screws back in, the hardware mod is complete. Just add the antenna and we can update the firmware. Now I really like this mod because now the module bay is open for business. You can put anything you want in there and leave it in there. So let's just pop our crossfire in here. Now we need to update the firmware because the stock firmware doesn't support the internal module. So you need to go to the Jumper T16 firmware page and download the latest firmware. For me, I'm using the English version and not the Flex version because I don't use R9. So let's download that bin file and just add it to the firmware folder of the micro SD card. Reinsert the micro SD card, reinsert the battery, and fire up the radio into bootloader mode. You do this by pressing the T1 and T4 trim toward the center while you power up. Push the roller to select the firmware that you downloaded, and it takes about 20 seconds for the update to complete. Go to exit, and you're all set. So let's test this out. Here I've got my Emacs Tiny Hawk and I'm struggling to get it into bind mode. All right, so now we just go into the model by pressing the MDL button, scroll to the very bottom, and make sure we've got the external RF turned off. So that's what we would have been using with the external module before. Now we have the internal RF, and we can choose multi, and in this case, FR Sky D8. Hit bind, and looks like we're all bound. Let's test it out and make sure it works. So this mod is really simple, it doesn't require any soldering, and all you have to do is open the radio and swap out a board. Flashing the firmware is a cinch, and you're all set. I'd like to thank Jumper for sending this module out to me early for testing, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to drop a like, and subscribe for more FPV-related content. Thank you. Bye.